Hello, in this Vulcan video, we are going to be looking and it at the render path and implementing that. So before we can, you know, finish, you know, the graphics pipeline, we need to essentially tell Vulcan about the frame buffer attachments that will be used while rendering. And to do this, we need to specify how many color, how many depth buffers there will be, how many samples to use for each of them and how their contents should also be handled throughout the whole you know part of the rendering operation and all of this information is actually wrapped into a render path object so that's the first thing, thing we're going to do is you know implement that so if we scroll down to where we have some variables and what we're going to say is put vk render path Call it underscore render pass. Okay, so now that we've got that, next thing we're gonna do is go to the init Vulcan method. After we do create image views, but before create graphics pipeline, we're gonna call a method called create create render pass. Again, it's gonna give us an error because we have not implemented this yet, but we will soon. Next step is we'll just you know handle cleanup so if we go over to here and we're going to do it after the pipeline layout we're going to say vk destroy render path and we need to specify the vulcan device then the render path and then some callbacks again we're just going to put no pointer so that way no callbacks are being essentially triggered but you can always implement them if you really want to. So now let's actually implement that create render pass method that we specified in the init Vulcan. So to do that, we scroll down, we'll put it after create image view, but be before we create the graphics pipeline, so basically here. And so we're gonna create the render pass now. So void create render path. And first of all, we're gonna have a single color buffer attachment, which is going to be represented by one of the images from the swap chain, which we implemented previously. So for VK attachment description and call this color attachment, put curly braces. Okay, so now we're gonna set the format. So color attachment dot format equals underscore swap chain image format again we created this previously we're just you know linking it up we're going to set the samples now so color attachment dot samples equals vk underscore sample underscore count underscore one bit like so and next what we're going to do is set the load operation so color attachment dot load up equals vk underscore attachment underscore load up clear I'm gonna set the store operation so color attachment dot store up equals vk underscore attachment underscore store underscore up store so we want to actually store this and next what we're going to do is set the stencil load operation stencil store operation so color attachment dot stencil load operation equals vk underscore attachment underscore load underscore operation don't care and now let's do the store operation for the stencil so color attachment dot stencil store operation equals vk underscore attachment underscore store underscore up underscore don't care okay so we're gonna say color attachment dot initial layout equals vk underscore image underscore layout underscore undefined and we say color attachment dot final layout equals vk underscore image underscore layout underscore present source khr okay so now that we've done that what we're going to be doing is creating the color attachment reference 
So essentially a single render pass can consist of multiple subpasses. Subpasses are subsequent rendering operations and these depend on the contents of frame buffers from previous passes. For example, a sequence of you know post-processing effects and these are applied one after another. Every subpass reference, one or more of the sorry, every subpass references one or more of the attachments that we've actually described using the structure in the previous section. So we're going to you know create the attachment now. So we're gonna say VK attachment reference. Color attachment ref curly braces and now let's we'll say color attachment ref dot attachment equals zero color attachment dot ref dot layout equals vk underscore image underscore layout underscore color underscore attachment optimal like so now what we're gonna do is set a sub path. So VK sub path description and call this sub path curly braces as usual and with the three parameters in here that we need to set so it's sub path dot pipeline bind point equals VK underscore pipeline underscore bind underscore point underscore graphics subpath dot color attachment count equals one subpath dot p color attachments equals a reference to color attachment ref and now okay so we've done that one last thing before we can actually create the render pass and we're gonna have a render pass info so just to create info so now we're almost there we're just going to put vk render pass create info render pass info and we're going to say render pass info dot s type equals vk underscore structure underscore type underscore render underscore path underscore create info like so okay so there's a few more parameters that we need to set so render pass info dot attachment count equals one so we're gonna actually reference the color attachment now so render pass info dot p attachments equals color attachment and we're going to say render pass info dot sub pass count equals one. Let's say render pass info dot p sub passes equals a reference to sub pass. Again, like so. Okie dokie. So now what we're going to do is actually call the create render pass function. As usual, we're going to wrap it in the if statement. If it fails, we'll throw a runtime error. So vk create render pass. Let's put underscore device. Reference the render pass info. And some callbacks. We'll put no pointer. Maybe one of these days we'll actually have some callbacks. Might create a separate video on how to do the callbacks. I might do that not equal to vk underscore success the book vk and now we'll just throw a runtime error hopefully these runtime errors never occur but you know if they do we know what's gone wrong it's great for testing so i'm going to say failed to create render path now give it a run Zero errors so far, looking good.
have a look yep so we've always had that issue that's not a problem at all so that's it so we're all good to go so we've done the render pass now and we are almost there for completing the graphics pipeline side of drawing a triangle we'll be wrapping that up next video and then we'll be getting on to drawing and then some swap chain recreation and then we're done for drawing the triangle and then we'll look at more you know maybe interesting topics however you want to think of it different topics so that's it for this vulcan video if you have any questions feel free to join the discord group there's a link in the description there's over 4800 members now so you know go and check that out and also like i say if you have any questions in the discord group for the vulcan channel feel free to post there there's also a link in the in the in the description for the github page which has all the source code for every single video plus working projects so you're all good to go there thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next awesome video